Okay, so the goal is to buy at the circle and sell at the white circle. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Uh, we're giving opportunity to buy a little bit lower. So we're just going to buy and then sell when it turns white. That's going to be it. We're just going to practice it. So we're in and we're out the next day. Profit done. Now we wait for the next dark circle. We'll buy on the next dark circle. Looks like we're going to buy a little bit on the high side. Is it buy on the dark circle? Starting to happen. Full moon. Yeah, full moon should be the, the dark circle. Okay. Buy dark, sell light. That's correct. Thanks, Michael. Uh, interesting. Okay. So we would have bought here. So we're in. We're in bullish. Let's see what happens. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, man, you guys didn't think that trade was going to work, did you? Type in a seven. You were like, nah, that's not going to work. You were looking at it, You felt like it was going to roll over. Come on, throw in those sevens. You knew you didn't think it was going to work. There you go. You're selling on that candle right there. The next, the next day is the, the light moon, right? No? There it is right there. Okay. So now, wow, look at a trade that was. Jiminy Christmas. What a gainer. 158 to 178. It called the top of the move. That's silly. You've, you've seen this moon phase before, Kel. So it's so the moon is full every what 26 days, something like that. Yeah. So every so these are this is a daily chart. So every 26 days, um, the moon cycle changes. Yeah. So this does not work on a day trade level because the moon doesn't cycle every three minutes. Cycles every day. Victor says, can you show how to implement the moon indicator on trading view? Okay. Go into the uh, indicator button, which is this like little, whatever, mountain squiggly thing. Click on that and type in moon. Moon phases. And can you imagine all the people that didn't stick around for the last hour of today? They're going to have to watch this in recording at some random future time. They're going to be like, wow, moon phase is newsome. And they didn't even get the recording of the class. <laughs> okay. We're going to keep going with the moon phases. Now, oh, by the way, could you, quick question, could you short every time you got a new moon? Sure you could, right? So you could practice both strategies. You could, you know, buy low, sell high, sell high, buy low. D says moons with Tesla. Yeah, Tesla does great with the moon phase. All right, let's go into the next just buy signal. Oh, by the way, I, I guess I forgot to ask this question. Type in a uh, seven into the chat. If this is brand new for you, if you've never seen me do this, Tom says, why are we looking at moon phases out of curiosity? Oh, dude, we're just back trading random stuff at this point. I've, <laughs> I've run out of like things to think about to back trade for the moment. We back trade collars, put sales, swing trades, day trades, market theory, credit spreads, <laughs> Bitcoin on a three minute, dude. I'm just like, well, moon phases. <laughs> Let's do that. All right. So we are buying here. So we bought it open. So we're in on this moon, dark moon. And let's see what happens on this trade. Okay, this one doesn't look like it's going to be just an absolute banger. All right, so we're out pretty much break even. We'll take that. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good small loss, right? Would you guys say that? We bought, we bought this one at 172. We got out at 171, really. All right, let's go to the next full moon. Oh, it's going to be on earnings. This will be fun. Okay. Well, you're buying. Boom. We're in. You guys ready? I don't even know when we're back trading. We're back trading, what, 2021? Oh, this isn't good. 
Oh my goodness. No way. No way. Do you see this? Mike says we should have a competition next month. One third of us go long on every full moon. One third of us go short on every new moon and one third of us do both. We well, can't do it next month. You'd have to do it more than a month. Otherwise, you'll just get one signal. You know, we have to do it all a year. I think we have to do something like that. I don't know exactly what it would be, but 2023, Jesse, I, Matt, come on, go ahead and build a moon bot. What are we doing? What do you do all day, Matt? <laughs> Why don't we already have a moon bot? This is ridiculous. Alex says Lux Algo has a moon phase bot. Matt, Lux Algo has a moon phase bot. How come we don't have one? Dang. Come on, team. Let's go build some moon bots. <laughs> That's what we're going to call it. Oh, that's funny. Very funny. And not even joking. Uh, that's a great trade over earnings too. I mean, you'd probably sell on that day, but let's just, let's just sell when it hits, when it hits the, there it goes. Okay. So there's the sell. So you're out at the, you bought the red line. Sell at that line. That's, that's another good win. So, so far we've had two wins, one small loss. Okay. Let's go forward in time. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is silly. Gosh. I mean, <laughs> I'm annoyed. I'm actually frustrated. Is anyone else getting a little annoyed in here? I mean, this thing called the top of the last look at this. Boom, shaka, laka. Unreal. <laughs> Every single lower high. Oh my goodness. Double top, double bottoms, and moon phases 2023. I love it. By the way, Dr. Joe, uh, Jack is going to be in on the, uh, the 2023 mentorship if you want to meet one of the other people who's going to do it with me. Definitely not a sales pitch, but if anyone does want to uh, to do anything with me for the 2023 year that's a little bit more energy-related, trading-related, wealth-related, consciousness-related, creation-related, business-related, let me know. Me and my wife are doing a really, really cool mentorship for the 2023 year, and apparently be doing a lot of moon phases, a lot of double bottoms. It's going to be dope. Okay. Let's go here. Okay, so let's let's get into this. Uh, keep going into the, the bot, moon bot. Moon bot engage on the buy. And this one is going to be a small gain. Wow. Okay, we're out. Small gain. So we've had, what, how, I forget how many trades now. Four trades, three trades. We've only lost on one of them so far. This one was a very, very small win. Okay, let's keep going forward. Unbelievable. It did again. What do I do all day? Why am I even doing analysis? Why am I even analyzing? All right, so we're buyers. Okay, so we're buying. Let's keep going forward in time. Now, this one, I don't think it's going to recover. So we get out on that day. That's definitely a loss. But look at how worse it could have been if we didn't get out. Thank you, new moon. This is so fun. Okay. Just keep going forward and see if we can get that nice little buy low signal on the full moon. <clears throat> and it's coming into earnings. So, okay, here we go. I think this is the one that gaps down big. I, I can't remember, but oh wow! Of, co of course not. Of course, 
So you're buying at the open of that, you know, as soon as that next indicator, and then boom, there it is. You're gapping up. Now, so again, we're not going to sell until the till the full moon comes. Okay, so full moon, we got another winner. Boom. Small win, but you're buying 127, you're holding over earnings, and you're getting out around 134. That's not bad. And granted, I actually see a 10 EMA play right here too, and the full moon. I wonder if this short works. I'd be okay to short here. Let's just short here and see if we can cover on the full moon. We've been a little bit. That would have been a very, very mediocre win if you shorted here and covered on the full moon. All right, so here's the full moon. We're in, long, bought. Let's go into the, this one will probably be a, looks like it's a break even. Yep, small loss. So small loss on that one. Anyway, I think you guys get the point. Type in a six if that's pretty, uh, pretty wild. I mean, it's like it was wild either way. Pretty crazy. Hope you all had fun with that. <clears throat> you can look at it on a weekly chart too. And it just gets a little more, like you can see a little bit more aspects. Uh, this is present day Nike. Let's just go to where it looks like now. So Nike's had some big drops. It's coming down to some uh, some support levels. Oh, wow. Nike's gapping up big after hours. Oh, how fun. Oh, great. This will be a good stock to watch for tomorrow's day trading. Did it have a, is there a full moon here? Wow. Look at this last full moon. Boom, boom, and boom. Now, granted, you'd have been, you know, sucking eggs for a little bit on this move, but you're obviously hitting pay dirt with this gap up. So the last three full moons, if you're buying Nike, you're profitable. Now, I would suggest all of you watching Nike pretty closely tomorrow in the next few days. This is a pretty good gap, but it's absolutely a fadeable gap. The 200 simple on the weekly is at 116.51. It's going to fail that. The monthly chart, we bounced off of the 100 simple on a monthly, which is where Emily Young bought some. Well, boys and girls, that was a lot of fun.